Morgan Wallen. The name synonymous with chart-topping country hits, a charming smile, and, well, a few headline-grabbing controversies. But in May 2020, one incident took the cake. A night of honky-tonkin' in Nashville led to an arrest that left everyone asking, what was Morgan thinking? T all went down at Kid Rock's big-ass honky-tonk rock and roll steakhouse. Just your typical Nashville Saturday night, right? Except for the part where, according to reports, Morgan got a little too into the honky tonkin spirit. Witnesses claimed he was kicked out of the bar for kicking glass items. Not exactly the boot scootin' we're used to seeing. But the drama didn't stop there. Our boy Morgan then proceeded to get into, shall we say, spirited discussions, with passers-by. Let's be honest, folks. When the cops see a celebrity getting loud and disorderly on the streets of Nashville, they're not gonna turn a blind eye. So, Morgan found himself facing the bright lights of a squad car, charged with public intoxication and disorderly conduct. Now, Morgan being Morgan, he wasn't about to let this little hiccup ruin his image. He quickly issued a public apology, claiming he made some bad decisions and let people down. Did the arrest hurt his career? Well, not exactly. Sure, there were some raised eyebrows and disappointed fans. But Morgan's core audience, well, they stuck by him. His music still topped the charts, and he even scored a Grammy nomination later that year. I got the best damn fans. So, what's the moral of the story? Maybe it's that even country stars aren't immune to a bad night. Or maybe it's that a good apology can go a long way. Whatever it is, one thing's for sure. Morgan Wallen's Nashville arrest will forever be a cautionary tale. A reminder that even the biggest stars have to answer for their actions. One honky-tonk brawl at a time.